Hawk, and he's decent. He's decent. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Now this feels good. Look at that. They look fantastic. You guessed it, folks. Welcome back to Dom's Fishing Adventures. It's an early morning sortie. It's on a day which well, meant to be calm, but it's actually quite swelly. That's why I'm just really in close. And uh, yeah, let's beat the sunrise and hopefully get a couple of fine special ones. Let's do it. We've got a bit of pollard and chook pellets out there for Burley. I'm just going to throw the soft plastics out while the muleys or pilchards are defrosting. All right, fish on. I've just dropped the uh, pilchard right under the bottom. Oh, there we go. Snapper. That's what we're going for. He's undersized, but uh, that's still a good sign. There's a couple of fish down there. safely released. I can get him out. There we go, first step of the day. First fish of the day too, it's taken me a while. Well, that's good, I see a few fish in the bottom. Hopefully there is a, a good size one out there. So I'm just using pilchards on gangs. I've got a soft plastic out there but that hasn't been touched. I'm just plonking this down. It's about an the rig, really light sinker. So I just cast out a whole muri. I'm getting little bites, but it's actually quite quiet. Usually I can get a few skippies and a few baby sambos. I might have to reposition the boat. And this swell, I realise now, well, I've many people at the boat ramp, but we're close in, but yeah, there's a fair bit of a swell. It's all right here, it's just getting bouncy. Here we go, a lot of bites. Come on, fishy. The sun's just about to come up too. I feel better when the sun's up. I, I don't like fishing when it's pitch black. Just not my cup of tea. I like to see my surrounds. Here we go. We got fish. We got fish. I'm curious to see what it is. Okay. Could be a snook. Let's have a look. All right. There's. Small, small snappers. Ooh. Here we go. We're on. Now this is on a on a single hook, and he's decent. He's decent. He is decent. Okay. It's on the circle hook, so I'm just going to take my time. See colour. My God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> that is... That is... Got to be the biggest... Skippy, I've caught, and I really thought it was a snapper because he just ran and he had some weight on him. So that is a that's a fine specimen of a skippy. That's a beauty. I'm going to measure him up. Right, 46 centimeters. That's a decent fish. <laughs> snapper, come on. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's great. Beautiful. Where's my esky? Now I will keep it and I'll bleed him. Just cut from over here. It's going right. But I downsized it, took the gangs off, put in the circle hook, for bean sinker. And uh, yeah, great. Just with a little, little muley head, because I'm defrosting the others, because I'm running out of bait pretty quick. That's good. First decent fish for the day. I'm, I'm content. I am content. Half a hilchard, circle hook. Bit of a sinker just to get down there quicker in the strike zone. I haven't got much burly out here, which is good. I'm not making the fish really um, full. If I want to eat, they've got to come to my party. 
the hook party. That was good fun. I even had the gaff ready. I think this is cursed, this gaff. There we go. It's another skippy. After that one, you can feel them. They've got some good, good weight on them. That's probably a baby stepper. Yep, a small one. Yeah, so this is better fun. Those buildings were just a bit too big. Wasted so much bait. Oh, I've got some good fish on the marker. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. What I'm going to do is get the soft plastic too. Let's see if that works. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's not really fighting. Foul hook. Foul hook. Foul hook snapper. Alright, so the soft plastic got smashed. There we go, another another good size skippy. Chevelli. Another good size skippy. Soft plastic though, yeah, they like the putrid one. Here's a good size to one too. <laughs> no snap snap, but I've got the other S fish. The STs. STs, that's a good one. Would you get any GTs? No, mate, just STs. Here we go, here we go. Alright, ooh. Just a little bit of curry. Could be another giant skippy. Hope for the water column, yeah, it's a good size skippy. Oh, oh and it's just on the clip, too. Look at that. It's just on the lip. Just on the lip. <laughs> Skippy it is. There you go, so it's already getting smashed. Oh, here we go. What is he on? <laughs> yeah. Let's see for the water there. <laughs> it's great fun. Oh, and he came off. He came off. And he destroyed that twisting and turning. If they like this, let's see if we can get another one. Now this here just took off. Could be a good size. Oh no, it's a stepper. No right. Probably the biggest one of the day so far. He's right on the circle hook. I think I've actually dragged the anchor. Getting closer to the reef. These are obviously undersized here in WA. There you go. Beautiful snapper. Mate, this swirling rock is starting to get to me. Got this and something a bit bigger was following it. <laughs> I'm using that for live bait. Oh, well, it's a long time between fish. Ah, oh, right, eh? Oh. Look at that. A bold chin griper. I did catch one of these not long ago, so I got it right on the chin. Hence the name Bolchin Groper. So they've got to be 40 centimetres in WA. This one's got 31. Oh, be gentle, we'll let him go. All right. Now this feels good.
the beauty. That's not good. Come on. This feels really good. And I'll tell you what I use for bait. Oh no, not my other line. Goodness me. I can see the colour there. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's a sand boy. What else? What else? Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> sand boy. Baby sand boy. He really took a lot of line. Yeah, so it's 50 centimetres. And if it was a snap, it would have been a legal one. I'll let this guy go anyway. Thanks, mate, for the bloody false alarm again. Woo! Yeah. Good fun still. Good fun, but it's cold. So here we go again. Yeah, come on. Give him curry. Oh man, that's a skippy. Oh god. Oh, that is a skippy and a half. Jumbo skippy. <laughs> and I didn't didn't let him play, I just probably locked the drag and gave him some curry. That is a pearl of a skippy. Yeah, 45 centimetres, I mean, <laughs> I should rename this episode as uh, How to Catch STs. <laughs> Silver Chirelli. Nice fish. I'll keep this. I'll gift this to a friend of the family's. I'll eat it. Now, Skippy are very good fresh. Remind me next time to bring a rag. Got these nice fine specimen tops and it's just full of blood. It's not designed for that reason. It's designed to make you look good when you go fishing. And if you want to buy one of these tops, check out the link below this movie on domsfishingadventures.com. Get yourself one of these beautiful tops, fine specimen. Designed them myself, made local here, made locally here in Perth, Western Australia. Okay, so what's going to happen? I've got those uh, fine, fine skippies. I think about four of them. Really good size. Um, I'm just going to head off and try to see if I can get a, a, a capture few whiting. It might rain, Ugh. and it's cold. It's fun. Alright, so the wind's actually not too bad. It's just the uh, swell and the chop. I'm just really glad I stayed in close. Didn't muck around, I already re-rigged, put my bait on. I'm not going to anchor, it's not windy. Drift around. It's actually quite pleasant at the moment. <laughs> quite pleasant. Oh, here you go. Oh, you got it. Oh my god, that is a stonk of a whiting. Oh my god. Oh, that is a that is a perler. Oh, so the rest is done it. Go there. <laughs> Beautiful. That's the, the bait. The Western King Rass. Oh, friend three. The only bad thing is it's a pretty delicate bait. If you don't get a hook up, you'll just yeah, they'll just run off a free meal. Which I don't mind. That happening every now and then. Yeah, boom boom already. Boom boom already. Maybe he's come off. Who you knows? Let's have a look. See water. Oh yeah, give it a colour. Yeah, not too bad. I'll let this guy go. 
it's not a big, not a big one. Be uh, a few nice whiting, I think. Oh yeah, good size. Nice one. I like those. Got some good girth on these ones. I've changed the bait to um, a bit of squid, calamari leg, tentacle. One again. Oh, look at that two. One's a good size. The other one's oh, thrown back. It's a good keeping size. This one here. Let me go for another day. Man, it, it is bouncy out here. Get the colour through the water. Yeah, that's a good size. Good size whiting. Believe it or not, even though I caught those trevellies, mate, these whiting are far superior in eating qualities than those fish. That's for another day. Yeah, I can see for the water. Yeah, two good stonkers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mate, these whining are getting bigger. Getting bigger. That's not a bad one, but the one I caught before off camera, he was oh lucky. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. You can tell they're big. Because of the scales on them, you can actually distinguish the scales, the size of the skull. <laughs> Probably fish. Whoa. Made it back. Some big jumbo whiting here. Some nice ones. And the skippies too. The STs. <laughs> Silver Trevellis, that is a dinosaur, that one. Already uh, taking the guts out, out in the boat. Keeps them nice and fresh, been under ice, so it's really gonna be nice, in fact. It's a really sharp knife. Cut down to the main, sort of central bone. I like to pry it open and carve the flesh off the bone. Around the rib cage. There you have it. Beautiful fillet there. We'll just skin it. You don't want to get too close to the skin because it's a chance of you slicing the skin and not doing a good job, but that's all right. That's actually pretty good. That's the proof in the pudding. So that's what I'm saying. You've got a bit of skin there, but that's all right, and a bit of the bloodline. Which I'm not going to be too fussed about. Now with these uh, skippies as well, you're better off just cutting them down half. You got your top bit, and then you got the the bottom bit. Mainly because you got bones all along here. And also the bloodline too. There you go, right here. There shouldn't be any bones in here, even though it looks like it, because I've cut it right close to the ribs. And that one there is alright too. There's a few skulls which I'll cut. But I'm going to cut these into um, maybe fish finger pieces, so I reckon cut like that. Lovely. Cut these in a bit of batter, breadcrumbs, deep fry them. That's quite thick that one. Beautiful. Biting fillets. thick but I want it crispy so give it a bit of whisk make sure you do salt the fish up gives it a really good flavour the fish put them in the flour we do one at a time the batter out of the freezer. It's quite thick that one. Let's see how this one's going to go. Move it around so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Away we go. Mm. 
Good old comfort food. I reckon they're ready. Look at that. They look fantastic. Let them sit here. Drain out a bit. Yeah, beauty. I think one more round of chips. And a few more. Quickly rinse these two leaves. What I'm gonna do? Yeah, don't cook it. Just do that. In a couple of chips. Wrap it up. Fish and chips, bomb stop. Let's have a toast. Delicious. Look at that. Nice white flesh. That's a Trevelli, mind you. Super Trevelli. Fantastic. Freshly caught this morning, eaten this afternoon. Mm. Got the fire. Put me warm. So it's one of these. If you like my show, make sure you subscribe and like it. Leave us a comment. See you next time. Take it easy. Love it. Don't want to take. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker, man.